Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney. If you're new here, I'm a 24 year old wife and mom. I'm due with my second baby um, at the end of September. I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some questions that you had about baby number two. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I got some pretty good questions, so we're just gonna jump right in. Let's see, so the first question is, have I had any differences in this pregnancy versus my first pregnancy? I feel like for sure this pregnancy I wasn't as sick. And even when I was pregnant with Hendrix, I didn't really throw up a lot. I was just nauseous all the time, like my entire first trimester. Whereas this baby, I threw up a couple times, but I definitely wasn't as nauseous. Um, and I was telling Bailey the other day, because I was like, I could feel the baby kick and move around and stuff. And I felt like I couldn't feel Hendrix this early. So I'm 16 weeks. I'll be 17 weeks on Wednesday. But I don't remember being able to feel him this well. Or maybe I just didn't know what I was feeling at that time since it was my first pregnancy. So, I don't know. But other than that, I haven't noticed any real differences. Um, let's see. What are you most looking forward to? So, it, this pregnancy, okay, I will say, another difference that I might make a separate video about, I don't really know, but just my feelings overall about being pregnant are different this time with Hendrix. I really wanted to be pregnant. I wanted to have a baby um, and we weren't planning on getting pregnant, but we did. And so I was just really happy with this baby. We're still excited, but it was kind of hard to, for me to kind of get there quicker, if that makes sense. Um, we just, you know, we kind of felt like we were happy with one and Bailey was looking at um, getting a vasectomy. So, and then we found out we were pregnant. So just our mindset was a little bit different. Um, so with this question, what are you most looking forward to? It's taking me a while to kind of look forward to anything because my mind just couldn't, get to being excited to look forward to anything um but now that i've been pregnant for almost five months you know i definitely feel like i'm warming up to the idea of having two kids um hendrix having somebody to play with and just having like a little buddy um because i grew up an only child and you know, sometimes it was lonely. So I'm excited for Hendrix to have somebody and I just hope that they're just the best of friends. They'll be two years apart. So I just hope that they're the best of friends and um, Hendrix loves other kids. He loves babies. So I'm excited to just see them grow up together and hopefully have like a really tight bond. Okay. Nursery inspo. So, they're, we're going to have them share a room. I think somebody else asked the same thing. Are you planning on doing a nursery? And if so, what will the theme be? Yeah, so, I plan on changing Hendrix's room. Or I planned on changing Hendrix's room before I found out I was pregnant. So, excuse me, I just burped. So now I think we're going to have them share a room. So that theme that I had in mind for Hendrix will just kind of become just both of their rooms theme, which I'll see if I can like put up some pictures. Um, I basically, Hendrix's room is like very plain Jane, white walls, you know, wood, like light wood and I'm just kind of over that whole color scheme that whole vibe so I want to paint his room as pretty color and actually we might be moving his room so his room is like in this back corner 
and we have a bedroom right here that is currently where we store like the rest of Hendrix's toys that are out of rotation. Bailey's desk is in there, um, our printer, just like random little things. So I think we're going to have this room be their room because it's bigger and then we'll move everything else to Hendrix's current room. Um, and I may be able to vlog some of that because we're going to have like the laundry room is in this closet. So the laundry is like right here, right up against this wall. And so we're going to move that out to its separate room right off of the kitchen. That way this can be a functioning closet for the boys. So yeah, I'll put up some pictures but I want like I think like blue walls or like a sage green or something and like I want like a cool vintage dresser I don't know I'm still kind of saving things and toying around with what I want but I will for sure try to film some of that for you guys if you're interested so I'm getting like randomly stuffy my allergies are messing up okay next question have or do you have a name picked out so yes and no it took me and bailey a really long time to agree on a name so there's one name that we both agree on but i'm still not 100 percent sure about it it's a very different name we don't know anybody who is named this or has named their kid this um so it's a little scary for me because I am nervous just what people will think and I know that it doesn't matter but I just I don't know I just don't want people to talk bad about me or us or him behind our backs so I don't know we do like it and it is the only name that we can agree on um so yeah, but we'll share his name once he's here just because I don't want anybody's unsolicited opinions or I don't want people talking crap before he's here and try to change my mind. So I'll share his name once he's here. Let's see. Okay, this next question is, are you going to change anything or do anything different this time compared to Hendrix's birth? Um, That's... A little bit hard because with Hendrix I knew I for sure wanted to go natural which I did I'm really proud of myself um, and I didn't even like I told Bailey I was like don't ask me if I want epidural make sure the nurses know not to ask me if I want epidural because I knew that if I was asked if I wanted one I would say yes whereas with this baby you know I've kind of proven to myself that I can go natural and so with this one, I'm just like, you know, whatever I feel kind of in that moment. Hendrix's labor was a total of four hours. And they say that sometimes with um, your second or third kid, your labor can be a lot shorter. So if it's shorter than Hendrix, then I'm thinking I may just suck it up and get through it and I can do it naturally again. If it's longer than four hours, I might consider getting the epidural. But I also was induced with Hendrix because I had high blood pressure. So I'm hoping that I don't have that issue with this pregnancy and that I can be at home as long as possible and labor here in the tub and in, you know, the comfort of my own home. So we'll just have to see. But overall, I'm just kind of like, whatever happens, happens, you know. I don't have like a super strict plan because I I did that with Hendrix and I know the process. I know how it's going to go. So, or I don't, I don't know how the labor is going to go. I know just what it's like to give birth. I know, you know, that thing. Anyways, this next question is kind of hard to read. It says where your plan was to have baby number two. I think she's asking, was it my plan to have baby number two? And then she says, with a small gap from Hendrix. Um, so no, we weren't planning this baby. We weren't planning Hendrix either. Um, I feel like that just happens sometimes. There's like a blue jay right outside my house. And he's like going up and down from the tree. 
so I'm getting distracted. Um, but no, this wasn't, this baby wasn't planned and we weren't planning to have a small gap. I guess two years is considered a small gap. We weren't planning that, but that is if I, like I remember saying if I did have more kids, I would want a two year age gap. So I'm happy with it. Were you able to keep most of Hendrix's baby items to use for baby number two? So luckily I kept his bassinet, his snuggle me. Um, I kept a few of his clothes that I, like, I, that I felt like I spent good money on. Like maybe they were from an Instagram boutique or somewhere. I kept those clothes. Um, what else? We don't have his swing because it was actually recalled for infant death. So we're gonna have to get a new one. But yeah, I was able to keep most of Hendrix's things. And so we're able to use them, which is good because we almost got rid of pretty much everything because we just were like, yeah, we're just having one. Are you having a baby shower? So I think I'm having a baby shower. I think my friend Miley is gonna throw me just like a diapers and gift card shower. I did do a registry, but just being honest, we didn't have like hardly anybody buy anything from our registry, which is frustrating, but you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. So I think with this baby, I like the idea of just doing a diapers and gift cards. And then that way they don't, nobody feels pressured to buy anything specific. And we can kind of use the money from the gift cards to buy whatever we felt like we needed. Um, but yeah, it'll probably just be something small, nothing crazy, which with Hendrix, it was right in the middle of COVID. So we had a drive-by shower and we like, like my family made food and we would bring plates out to people, like to their cars. And like, we were just sitting out in my driveway, just like saying, hey, and people would leave like a gift on the table or whatever. So, you know, we didn't have anything big for Hendrix either, but yeah, with this baby, we'll just keep it simple. And I really don't feel like we need that much. I would like, you know, I have a couple things on the registry that I would like to get, like a double stroller and a swing and things like that. But I feel like after baby number one, you kind of just, I don't know. I feel like you kind of just do what you have to and they'll, they'll get through. I mean, it's not like your baby needs a swing or a pack and play or whatever, but like things like a crib and things like that, like we still need to get. Or maybe I'll vlog it. I don't know. Would you guys be interested in seeing anything like that? I think I watched people's baby shower vlogs before i don't know you guys let me know in the comments what you think but those are all the questions i have if you have any more questions feel free to drop them in the comment section or message me on instagram whatever and i'll be happy to answer that for you but i will see you guys in the next video just as a reminder i post a new video every thursday at 12 o'clock so if you want to see new videos make sure you hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next one